Rich Brom from Phone Scoop here, taking a look at the Samsung Omnia that has been adapted to run Linux. This is running Linux from the Limo or Limo Foundation. They have now standardized the Linux underpinnings. However, each manufacturer is free to customize it with their own interface. So as you can see, this is Samsung's familiar TouchWiz interface with widgets that you can drag onto the desktop and rearrange. There we've, we've put a few widgets. It's not perfect, this is a development version, uh, so things are a little slow. But as you can see, we go into the menu. It looks like familiar touch whiz. We can go into the dialer, back, phone book, back. As you can see, they've implemented a full set of animations. It's fairly speedy. video. Accelerometer works. So here we're watching uh, a movie trailer. Full screen. Go back out. Just hit the end key, it pops right back to the home screen. You can go and try out the browser. Unfortunately, there's no SIM card in this, so we're not going to be able to get to the network. Try another feature, perhaps the camera. Camera seems to work. Take a picture. That's fairly quick. Take another picture. Another picture. As you can see, the camera seems to work pretty well. Very speedy. So, between the camera and the video player and the full interface, it looks like uh, Samsung has their, their full touch whiz running on Linux fairly well. So that's the Samsung Omnia running Limo Linux with their touch whiz interface. We're looking at a version of the Samsung i780, which is a little bit like the Epix, I believe, that came out in the US on AT&T. So this is Samsung's QWERTY slab smartphone with the optical joystick in the middle. This version is special because it's running a version of Linux. If you hit the little widget button, you can see the very familiar TouchWiz interface. They've got their widget dock, which you can hide and show. And you can drag widgets onto the desktop and rearrange them however you like, just as you would with uh, any standard TouchWiz phone. Just the calendar widget brings up calendar. You can go back. We can hit menu. It goes over the main menu. Widget. Go back to the widget area. It's pretty responsive, pretty fast, uh, relatively, most of the time. It's got some pretty slick animation that goes along with it. You can jump into multimedia, phone book. You can see we've got a standard uh, area to enter contact, applications. See, it's got nice finger touch scrolling. It's not perfect, it's still a little rough, but you can see they, they've really come a long way from some of the earlier Limo Linux versions. If you hop into the browser, it's not connected to um, the internet, or at least it doesn't seem to be working at the moment, even though it has a little 3G thing in the corner. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. But you can see here, just scrolling around this error page, there's a little mini-map in the corner. It shows you where, you're, where you are on the page. It's a full screen mode. You can hop in and out of. So fairly full-featured, fast browser, uh, at least uh, from what we can tell with this unconnected version. Let's see if the camera works. Sure enough, got the camera, got some settings options, 
brightness. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Very fast camera. So there you have Limo Linux running on this Samsung i780. Here looking at an LG phone, which looks an awful lot like the Insight running Linux. And LG's uh, UI, which should look familiar, it's like they have on the, the Prada phone and then the, the View. Uh, but in this case, they've taken LG's Finger Touch UI and ported it to actually run on top of Linux from the Limo or Limo Foundation. So as you can see, there's the basic menus. They look a lot like you'd see on any other LG phone. You can go back out. There's the home screen. It's pretty much all that's working on this preliminary alpha or, or uh, development version 